a beautiful shape of things to come. A model of the Anglo-French Concorde airliner to be carrying 100 passengers by 1970. At Lancaster House, the aviation minister, Mr. Julian Amory, in company with the French ambassador, almost crooned in admiration over the brainchild of their two countries. On behalf of their governments, they signed the agreement for the joint development and production, a foretaste, perhaps, of common market cooperation. Concorde has a perfect pedigree. In the early days, the Ferry Delta II proved faster than sound flying to be possible. Then the French Trident, powered by two jets and a rocket motor, flew twice the speed of sound. At the Bedford Wind Tunnel, flight conditions at these fantastic speeds are simulated. A tremendous help to the designers of the airframe, in this case a model of the Concorde. Watching is the head of the Bristol design team of the British Aviation Corporation. On the test bed here, a Bristol Sydney Olympus engine, the type that will power the Concorde. The same engine has been tested in flight, powering a Vulcan bomber. The Hanley Page 115 demonstrated the possibility of handling the slender Delta Wing aircraft at low speed. More tests were made by the Bristol T-188 Flying Laboratory. With a pedigree like that, the Concorde should capture a big slice of the Atlantic traffic for Britain and France. 